Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Before we continue on with story stuff, um... Well, we were gonna go to Athens and stuff, but, uh... Ubisoft just dropped a thing on us. We got a weekly quest, where we gotta go and find this Athenian ship called the Black Wind. It's sort of like a weekly mission. You can see this down here. There you go. The black winds are set sail. Among those who see the black wind sails, a few survive. Few still ready to embark the Aegean again for fear of crossing its path again. End the pirate ship's reign of terror at all costs. So we've got a pirate ship to attack. Which is gonna be interesting. But um, before we do that, I think we'll just do a quick upgrade to the ship. I think we can manage one or two. Yep, it's an epic ship or something. Well, epic level ship or something. Oh man, it's all the way down there. Well, it's a long sail and we're... It's not that we're... I think it's scaled to our level, so it's fine either way. But I think we better set sail off of a uh, closer dock. Otherwise, we're in for a long ship journey. But before we do that, I think... Yeah, we need to buy at least one more upgrade. To our ship. So we're gonna drop by Athens real quick. I have enough resources for one more upgrade. I think I want to get an upgrade to my ship's hull. And I just need one ancient tablet which I can buy off blacksmiths. So I need to go to one and hope that they have it. Once we do that, we'll set sail, we'll take down this we'll take down the weekly mission and then we'll go back and do some stories. Yeah. I hope they're still closer to where we are. Yeah. So it's sort of like a weekly raid thing. Ubisoft's apparently planning to do such things. Like there can be mercenaries, there can be ships and whatnot. Other different stuff. So we've upgraded our ship to be very fast. Yeah, we've upgraded our ship to be fast, but it's not exactly very durable. So what I'll do is I'll probably knock the difficulty down to easy so that uh, it's a little bit less uh, intense on us because uh, I don't know about you guys but I'm not that satisfied with hard level ship combat and everything it's just a matter of them tanking more damage I think I'm already on easy actually so we'll just go with that so yeah, quick detour down here, going over to the shop, and then we'll head off, and then we'll come back to story. I would normally do story first, but this is a weekly, so I figured it's something entertaining enough to put on stream, since it's that kind of challenge. I didn't particularly like the ship combat, that's because I'm doing a piss poor job of it, I'll be honest. There is strategy in it. It's a little bit more simplified than, say, what Skull and Bones is planning to turn out How to may be. I help you? But, uh. Oh man, this guy doesn't have the if I can help tablets. You again, let me know. This guy doesn't have the tablets. We're gonna have to check another blacksmith. Uh. Is there one here? Yeah. Need to hide those. Need to hide those photos. Uh, we do have control over the outcome actually. So we, uh, I guess I'll do a quick primer of the ship combat. So we can ram ships, obviously. So that does damage. Being able to roll faster means you can ram ships more often. You need to get the right angles and stuff. And then you have regular arrows, and you have spears, and then you have fire, which is works on the same adrenaline system. So you need to build adrenaline. Or meter, I'm just gonna call it meter because it's like a fighting game. You do regular damage to build meter, you get meter, and then you chuck fire arrows at them. There's also poison, which I haven't unlocked yet. There's an option. And if all else fails, uh, you also get the brace when enemies are attacking you, so you gotta like, have a trade off and balance and stuff. And the one thing that we didn't employ is hit and run tactics. So we can actually like hit them a little bit, run off, come back, and they will have sustained damage. So. There's things like that that you gotta manage. Better stay hidden. 
So yeah, so far I have been just Leroy Jenkins the boat, co the ship combat, because I could. But yeah, there is actually nuance to it. So it's yeah, it's it's just me doing a piss poor job of it. There's a cultist clue nearby, but this is Attica. We're like here way too early, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and oh, this is the this is the cultist clue. Yeah, it probably is. Ah, this guy doesn't have an ancient tablet either. That's a pain. Okay, we'll check one more location. If, uh... If Focus doesn't have it, then we'll just, we'll just sail out and try it anyway. Then we'll just settle in for a long sea journey. Hmm. Ancient tablets are like the bottleneck for, at least in my experience, of upgrading the ship. You can find them apparently in treasure chests and stuff, but I haven't found that many. You can also buy more blacksmiths if they carry them. They kind of reset every day, so we're gonna have to check them. I hope this guy has them. Yeah, 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 shut up. I ain't interested. Leave me alone. Okay. Please give me... In Please give ancient tablet. No ancient tablet. Fine, we're sailing in... We're gonna sail directly into battle then. We'll just put ourselves on easy and hope for the best. Alright chat, settle in for another voyage. It's gonna be a bit chill before we engage in battle and then we'll see how things turn out from there. Ready to depart! Where to now, Commander? Alright folks. Okay, they're off in the horizon somewhere. We might be sailing into high level territory, so we gotta watch out. Uh, let me check. Okay, these guys aren't that high level, it's not a problem. We've been to Andros. He's way down here, so... Yeah, these, this, yeah, this place isn't too bad. We, we, can, we can sail in here without, like, triggering a bunch of people, I think. Pirates of the Caribbean, except this is in the Caribbean. Yeah. Okay, where are we? We can make a direct beeline for down there. Yeah, there are no obstructions, so I can just put the ship on autopilot, aim it in this direction, and put the controller down. Alright. Settling in for a long journey. I guess we can stop talking about our day. So, hmm. how's, how's chat's day? How have you guys been? Me, I sliced open my pinky finger while setting up for this stream. No joke, I was setting up my mic. My mic has these like foldable stands at the bottom. So my so when I was unfolding it from its straight position to its tripod position, I accidentally stuck my pinky into the gap between where like the thing would snap upwards to. And I snapped it and it actually sliced my pinky open. So it started bleeding and it like, it was like, ow. So my finger hurts. So that sucks. 
it's he it's healed up now, but you know how paper cuts are like, you know, it's they they, they aren't very deep but they hurt uh, they hurt like hell. So I'm just being very careful not to grab my controller with my pinky. As long as I do that I should be fine. Hmm. What else? But yeah, my computer's been acting up as of late. That's a little bit annoying. Like, I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I turn it on, I leave to do something else, it idles for like 20 to 30 minutes, I come back and the display's off, and the USB ports are off, but the computer itself is still on, so I have no idea what's doing that. I even checked an events viewer and nothing's showing. And earlier today I was using the computer and then suddenly the display locked up, but it was still uploading video feed, because it was frozen on that one screen. And then my mouse light went off, so apparently the USB ports are shut down. But again, the CPU itself is still running, so I have no idea what's going on. I'm a little bit worried now because like there's no there's like the only thing I could do is just power cycle it. So if that means that my computer's in like having a little bit more issues than just something simple and debuggable, I might have to start looking into investing for a new computer. I have been using this one for like about two years now, the warranties ran out a couple months ago, so I don't think I have much of a choice if it is something like really bad. It can't be the display driver issue because the whole, because like all the USB ports stop giving power as well. Like that that's not normal. Like for the USB ports to go. Hang on. Alright. This is why I invested in speed, so I can just out exit combat. We Alright, we're good. Okay. I'll save once we get close enough to this target ship. But, uh, yeah, so. Bottom line. I might be having some computer problems. It's nothing serious at the moment, but it's the kind of thing that worries me that it's going to develop into something more serious. So if that happens, I'm going to be unable to stream for a bit. So it might be a bit of an issue. Yeah. So I'm just going to let you guys know that if I disappear for if I disappear for a couple of weeks, it'll be because of that. I am working now, so if I have to buy a new computer, I could just get one I guess off of an IT fair. Still it's gonna hit the wall the old wall quite bad. And if I can fix my computer it'll be a lot better. I just hope nothing bad happens while I'm using it. You know? Pretty issues are a real headache. Anyways I'm just I'm just rattling on to fill time. Since we're coming up on him now Once we get to within a thousand meters, I'm gonna do a save. I bet people watching the VOD back would be wondering how my computer problems turn out or whatnot. Or not, you know, they just be like low computers. I don't know anything about them. I need an upgrade to my graphics card too. I mean my GTX 745, as fine as it may be, is getting a little bit outdated. A lot of modern games, min specs don't help me, like, I don't need them anymore. It's like a road trip? Well, yeah, it sorta is. Alright, well, we're going this way. Some for five is potato if you wanna play AAA stuff nowadays. Well yeah, more or less. The min specs for most of these modern AAA games is like a, like a 980 I think. Oh no, 760. 760 is like the min. And even then that's pushing it. If I upgrade I think I'll probably go for a 980. A 10 to a 1080 is like a 1080 Ti is like all oh, very well and good. But, you know, those are expensive, man. And, like, I'm not earning that much. And even if I were, you know, I ought to save up for it. 
Okay. Here we go then. Alright, so there's a group of them. We should probably take the flunkies out first then. I think those, yeah, these three are the flunkies. Let's go for that one first. We're gonna take a little left turn. We're gonna get within a couple meters. Alright, there's, they're gonna start triggering. Alright. We're engaged. This horse starts to go cowboy game on PC? Uh, I'm actually not sure. I think so. Alright. Brace. Alright, we've got fire arrows. Let's go. Alright, we haven't lost that much health so we can just cleave this one. Alright, break, rotate, starboard, alright. Those guys are gonna try to ram us. Breeze! Alright, go for these guys. I have high acceleration, we're gonna hit these guys. Bam. Alright. There's a weak point, try and aim for it. So you can see ships like develop weak points as we hit them. So there is a strategy as to where we want to aim as well. Alright. Brace orbit. Uh, Alright. Two ships down. Oh. We were going to board them, but I think we accidentally disengaged. Alright, so we've only got a target ship left. We're gonna hit him now. Oh, hey, he's got a decent amount of health. Or not. Never mind. Hit him with the fire arrows. Burn. Alright. Brace for the next wave of arrows. Before the momentum, actually hitting the weak point seems eh. It's... Alright, alright. Ease of well, give some space. Ah, wait, we're on fire. We're on fire. That's a problem. All right, rotate. Rotate. All right, sharp turn. Rotate. Sharp turn. Alright, ram him! Alright, we can uh, we can board him now. Alright, here we go. Off you go then. Alright, there's a lot of you guys. Perfect time, perfect time one of these. My crew's doing work. Nice. Alright, sit, treat. Alright, we did it. Alright, steal all their loot. Hunter's belt. Now we steal their hunting knives and wood. And then we steal their reinforced leather gloves. Lovely. And 
And that's that. We took him down. Alright, time to deliver the coup de grace. Hey, we did it! Nice. <laughs> you know that, that, oh, that only took 10 minutes. And most of it was traveling time. That was a lot of money. I actually didn't notice. How much money did we get? Uh, chat, tell me how much money I got. I, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Apparently we unlocked something. We unlocked the Black Wind. As a ship design. Cool! Golden, golden designs. We don't have any figure hits yet, but that's alright. 1,782. Eh, that's not bad. It's not It's not a lot, to be honest, but it's not bad. Yeah, so I'm doing decent amount of damage because I upgraded these and I got fire arrows. My ship speed is maxed out right now, so that's cool. I wanted to upgrade this. Oh, I needed four ancient tablets to upgrade the hull some more, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, let's go. Cool. Our ship looks like a pirate ship now. So hey, we earned something cool. I'm happy with what we did. Okay, folks, uh... Alright, so, where were we? <laughs> we unfucked this area. Okay, we want to get back to Attica. We're not playing Black Flag. We sure are. Hey, there's like a... It's like a mercenary over here. How far away is he? Okay. Let's make way, make way. Yay, look at our new sail, isn't that lovely? Look at our lovely pirate flagship. Oops. It is a nice skin, I'll admit. Alright, so yeah. Now we sail back to Attica. We actually don't need to, I could just like fast travel. I could fast travel back to Athens. I could fast travel back to Athens and then call my ship over and it'll come instantly. But hey, partly partly immersion, partly because I want to see what my new flat my new ship looks like. And partly because we'll just make landfall close enough to the shore and then we'll go ahead and assassinate a cult member while we're at it. Oh shit, seas are rough today. Seas are rough. Calm down. But anyways, yeah, I've prattled long enough about what's going on in my immediate life. The computer acted funny and then my and then I sliced my pinky. I'll probably run like some diagnostic programs on my computer after this. Figure out if there's any immediate, like, obvious issues. Because event viewer didn't turn up anything. I don't think it's supposed to turn up anything. So I'm kind of left in the dark. So I need to figure that out. But other than that, um, uh, yeah. So I guess, uh, yep, now we just settled in for another road trip. How was your day, chat? You guys having a good time? Having a good time out on the oceans of Greece? Just have to press the white button every now and then as we sail past things floating in the water. All these islands that we could make a landfall on, but today is not the day we're exploring. That day will be another day. I mean, I kind of like just chilling. You do? Oh. It's just some wood. Same mode, eh? Now, same mode's also good, I guess. Kind of like sailing a ship. Sailing a ship when it's same mode, then it's a good, it's a good day with same mode. Chad, what do you think about my? What do you think about the ship? What do you think about how it looks now? It's pretty, ain't it? Appropriately intimidating. ship is swag? <laughs> it sure is, ain't it? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times are you gonna show me about the bone tea stuff? I know about the bone tea stuff. I've been killing us. I've been killing mercenaries all as well. You don't need to remind me. I'm well versed in it. Oh yeah. So uh, in the interim, I've dealt with uh, the two quests for the Athenians that required me to go and kill Spartan people. Oh, that was a seagull. Did you guys see that? That was a seagull. Flew right at the camera. That was whack, yo. Alright, this is Uber driver speaking. We're coming up on landfall shortly. Please fasten your seat belts and have the tray tables lowered. We are making landfall now. Thank you for riding with Pirates of the Caribbean or Pirates of Greece. Ready the oars! All right, you guys, hang tight, have fun. Cook up, a, cook up, a, cook up a campfire on board. We've got a nice little thing over there. It's a little like I don't know what the thing is called. That bowl with the coals and stuff in it. A brazier? Maybe I'm not sure. A brazier is the thing that they light to call reinforcements. I don't know what that thing is called. But whatever, you can cook with it. So if you feel interested, you can go ahead and cook with it, you know? Here we go, the Temple of Poseidon. Oh. Restricted area. There's our man, a Koitos the Great. He's surrounded by other people. This could be dangerous. Yeah, he's in the middle of these things. It's gonna be hard to deal with him. Well, at least it's gonna be hard to deal with just him. Oh, wait, he's coming around the side. We can get him. Oh, he's going this way. Alright. Alright, folks. There's our target. He is but an ordinary citizen. Or so it seems. Sorry. I'm sorry. Here comes Illuminati member. Illuminatus. Oh, he's just sitting down. I'm sorry. Yo, go away. You civilians, go away. I point my bow at you. Go. Clear the area. Clear the area. That's it. Go. Go, 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 go. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah, he doesn't know I'm going to attack. I am but an ordinary I am but an ordinary citizen. Get out of here. Go. You're not welcome here. Lady. Oh, you're not reacting. That's it. Shoo. Shoo. Go while you can. No? Okay, fine. I'm gonna lure him somewhere private. Okay, fine. I guess he's gonna not make it easy for us, huh? We have to do it down in the open. We'll just take. We'll just take the. We'll just take the. We'll just take the, we'll just take the bounty. 
I wanted to lure him somewhere quiet so I could just kill him in peace, but he wasn't coming. I was trying to chase the civilians off, so whatever. There we go. He's dead now. That man is dead. He was, uh, this guy. Alright, we're done. I guess I'll just leave him there. <laughs> you know, what part of Athens are we in right now? We're not that far from the city, I guess we can just horse ride over there. I think not. Oh. Yeah, here he comes now. It's it's the price I have to pay for assassinating somebody in public. See, the public doesn't know he was a he was Illuminati, so he just looked like a more random guy. Oh, he's got poison now. Better avoid him. All right, goodbye. take him in a fair fight, but I kind of want to backstab him. level 29, I just noticed. He's pretty high level. Uh, t tree. Roll. He found me once, he can do it again. Yeah. Well, not if I stabbed him first. I am Noctis right now. Warp Strike. Oh, this man has a lot of armored moves. Oh, he, he 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 has hues as well. Do you know it? Oh, I was gonna recruit him. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was gonna kill him. I thought he hewed so it'd be okay. I was gonna drag him onto my ship. But I guess that's that. Oh well. Okay. So before I forget. Probably put the difficulty back up. <laughs> I'm still uneasy because ship battles on hard are hard. So, as noted. And while the unicorn is lovely and all, it's it's also very distracting. So. All right, we're gonna go over back to Athens now. Everybody okay? We did what we had to do, faffing off in the other areas. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna deliver these seals to that one general who wanted us to do his dirty work for him. Actually, you know what? I can just manually... I'll manually ride there. It'll be fun. So yeah, I did finish. I did finish those two uh, quests off stream. The one we had to do, like uh, kill Spartan fort leaders and then bring back proof, and then the other one where we had to go and like mess up 
various camps outside of Athens. We did them both. We did them both on stream, so now we can just turn them in. So we saved you. The, I saved you the trouble of you having to go and hang on. Is that a cow? Good lord, you're majestic. Look at him. Is he wild? Is he a wild cow? I think so. He gave me letter. Sorry, that was just so out of place. I had to comment on it. Like, it's the first wild cow I've seen all game. That's kind of cool. It looks kind of derpy, though. So, anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. I save you the trouble of having to watch me sneak around camps and stab people in the back more than we really have to. Because it is fun to watch, but, you know, only to a certain extent. I, 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 I know that much. Some of these, like, uh different points are kind of get they kind of get samey after a while I'm sure the moment to moment can be rather exciting but you know yeah. too much of a good thing too much of a good thing can be boring so I'm gonna keep it down to when the quest actually when the story actually takes us past one of those and then we'll do those all right we're back at Athens did you guys miss this place Lovely place, ain't it? Yeah. Look at that big old Parthenon. <laughs> All right. Can I help you? Could I talk to you just now? Oh, there we go. Two of them. This could have been used earlier, but hey, better late than never. I'm just gonna leave my horse parked there. It could be faster to just scale the wall, you know, instead of riding around the streets. I'm a rebel. I don't do as I'm told. Roads, roads are a mere suggestion to me. I climb rocks, cause I rock. I'm gonna shit lightning like Zeus. That's what Barnabas said. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll see you later. Man, if everybody could climb like me, walls would be useless as a warfare tactic. Athens would be invaded and everybody would be dead by now. Hey there, General. We've done your dirty work. Do you have my seals yet? Of course I do. It was easy. How could I have doubted your greatness? Nonetheless, I appreciate the work you've done. Would you be interested in another job? Oh, another one? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. That exactly. is true. How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I'm not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see how the other generals react to that. I'll get you your seals. The sooner the better. What do you think of the Spartans? If you were to ask General Ney on that, he'd tell you they were mindless brutes. That's half true. 
They have a base sort of cunning. It shouldn't be enough to withstand Athenian might. Assuming the other generals make intelligent decisions instead of stalling. You do know I'm of Spartan birth. You're more skilled than the average Spartan. In time, you might even manage Athenian citizenship. The true pinnacle of success. Of course. <laughs> I wish I had more say over our naval forces. What I could do to the Spartans then. Oh, we told him we are Spartan and he still is a racist idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, it's ancient times. What do you expect? Have you held this command for long? I've been a general in the army for a long time. I made some mistakes in my early days, but I more than made up for them after. Still, everyone attributes my victories to luck, never to my own decisions. I see how that could be frustrating. Other men take credit for my victories. Cautious men who cause needless deaths by overlooking opportunities. You know what happens to a general who loses his reputation? Who gets blamed for the loss of Athenian lives? Nothing good. He dies. So I will do everything to preserve Athenian lives. Maybe one day, I'll even get credit for my accomplishments. Maybe. Apparently you're a famous person in history, so I'm sure that's Why something. Why do you need these seals? I need those seals to shove in the faces of the assembled generals to get them to wake up. While they've been debating and stalling, I've been winning the war. Eh. Well, Sun Tzu just did say, if fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. I know what I have to do. <laughs> Demosthenes' belt? He, he gave me his belt? That's dirty, yo. I don't want no belt. Not not a belt that you wore. Why do you give me a dirty laundry? That's that's actually kind of disgusting. I don't want your dirty laundry. Ew. I got a better spear now. Do I get anything else better? Nothing much at the moment. Better bracers. Still the best arm, armor pieces. Slightly better. These ones too? Yeah, that's better. Let's go for the assassin damage. Wow, I kinda look mismatched now. A little bit. Yeah, I look a little bit mismatched, but... <laughs> Yikes, that color combination. That's kind of that's kind of actually disgusting. I'm actually oh I'm wearing that men's I'm wearing that men's stuff. Ew. 9% and 11%. Well, we can't change our torso because that's actually good. Oh man. This gives us the best assassin damage, but it looks ugly. I'll go with this one. At least it gives us more adrenaline per hit, so... Okay, that's still, that's still a bit hideous, but whatever. Well, fine, you know what? We'll just, we'll just take the fashion hit for now, and we'll get, we'll get better looking gear later. We'll, we'll have to look silly for a while, but we'll do more damage, so it's whatever. Yeah? As Sun Tzu would say... Wait, no, we just took this quest one. As Sun Tzu would say, it doesn't matter if you're if you're ugly as long as you're victorious. He didn't actually say that, I made that up. But it sounds like something you'd say, wouldn't it? Besides, you probably have something to say about the strategic abilities of wearing such mismatched and ugly clothing that you distract the opponent. Whatever it is whatever serves as a distraction to your opponent, then you be sure to use it. That is how you win the war. What it is is that I need Athenian clothes, because this is an Athenian bottom. I'm wearing mercenary clothes on top of my Athenian bottoms, so I look silly. Also, I leveled up, so I've got I can like power up some abilities. I guess I look into it. I need spirit level five for that. Yeah, I need I need spirit level five to upgrade my assassin stuff. I'll hold on to my points for now. All right, so we also finished the Cleon stuff. So now we're gonna talk to him. Man, Athens is huge. 
ain't it? What's Cleon doing over here? Is he socializing with his demographics? Is he on like uh, one of those political tours? Oh, a loading screen. Guess this means it's important dialogue. It usually only happens for very important stuff. You've returned. Did you bring the proof I asked for? I think this might interest you. I took it from the commander after I killed him. You know what it's about? What do you mean? Your reaction betrayed you. Yes. The man mentioned in this note was on important business for Athens. Hmm. Why was the messenger trying to get to Mytilene? He was to help distribute supplies to the people there. To help them against their oppressors. Who is this man to you? You look concerned. He was only an aide. It was his mission that was important. I hope this proves I can be trusted to get the job done. Proved you're competent, yes. Trusted? You did read the note. I had to make sure it was proof of what I did. It could have been anything. A good point. And because of this, I have another task for you. I need you to find my messenger, Yerimos. This was the messenger from the note? Yes, it's imperative Yerimos is freed and reaches the ship I've read it for him. Where's the ship I need to take him to? For now, it's safer, you don't know. Once you find him, he will tell you. Tell me about this messenger of yours. He's of no significance, but his mission is. Find him so he can complete it. What mission is your messenger on? The fewer people who know, the better. But understand, it is vital to the future of Athens. Hmm. Okay, so this this is a potential future leader who once was making secret plans. Chad, what do you think? Where should I look for Yerimos? If the Spartans have him, he'll be in the old quarry. I have it on good authority they're holding all their prisoners there. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll get this Yerimos of yours to the ship. Okay. So... He's side with Pericles? Well, I mean, he's not exactly doing the best job of leading the city right now. I'm more, uh, so I'm, I'm sure Cleon's alright, I guess. Like, he makes valid... Like, he makes valid points and whatnot, but... The fact that he's doing secret military plans is a little bit concerning, I guess. I feel like this is the kind of thing that would just turn out badly later on. So he's, uh, he's over here. We're gonna do a de- yeah, we're, we're gonna do this side quest for a bit. Because, hey, you know, Pericles and Cleon, I guess they're somewhat related. So this is probably gonna be relevant. Somewhat at least. Somewhat relevant to the main quest. Although he's like being really coy about what he's exactly planning or whatever, you know. Now it could it could it could be just that he's doing like things that he doesn't want the Athenians to know. Maybe he suspects a traitor somewhere. So you know, Athenians are Spartans. Maybe, maybe he suspects a traitor. So he's like, don't, don't don't tell. The less people know, the better. That would make sense. The messenger, he's being held in that prison camp. Alternatively, he could be just like a shady guy. So, hey, it could be anything. Best stay out of sight. Maybe Pericles is like a secret Spartan or something in this universe. Eh. <laughs> Where is he?
I don't think there's any more soldiers. I guess I can just go in on this. Maybe Erodotus is Cosmos? <laughs> I, I I doubt it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like the scheming type to me. If we're not going back to Greek history, I yeah, so Cosmos holds the purest marble in the Greek world. I heard they built the Cosmos. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess the thinking is if he is, if he is like the leader of the Cosmos group. Wait, no, he can't be the leader of the Cosmos group. You know why? Because he was outside during the secret meeting. It's it's literally impossible he is, he's the guy. Yeah, it's literally impossible. He cannot be. He cannot be. He can't be part of the castle score because he was outside during the meeting. Painful. Poison very painful. Oh jeez, more mercenaries are coming. Well, things are getting messy. The music's all epic and stuff though. Oh, listen to the music going in. It's actually kind of awesome. Oh, he knows we're here. Oh, this tiny random slave wants to hit us. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess I should have been more careful. I'm sorry. I got cocky, and I thought I could take him on. I probably could take him on, but you know, I thought I lost him. I was gonna, I was banking on, be I was banking on hiding long enough so that I could use my uh, warp strike again. I'm totally just gonna call it warp strike, cause it's totally warp strike. Ancient Greek warp strike. You need to stay hidden. Is marble in the Greek world. I heard they built the Parthenon. Oh 
Now this man does not want to lose his shield. Fine, we'll take care of him the old fashioned way. Oh, that man's gone. Give me his loot. Give me that man's loot. He doesn't have loot. That man has no loot. He's bad. There's treasure down there. We'll get back to that later. Where, where, where? Oh, he's up there. Nah. You say you win me, but you won't. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright. Yo, yo, hang tight. We're on a high place, so you know what that means. Actually, you know, I think we have two... We have two wheels now, don't we? No, we don't. Not yet. Alright, you know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is? Oh boy. Eh, close enough. It is indeed time to dine in hell. Come on up, folks. Come on, come all. Off you go. Stab. Oh man, that man went flying. Oh, that wasn't a lot of people, but close enough. You got loot? No, you don't have loot. Where did that other man fall down to? Where are the mercenaries? Call them up here. I want to kick them off. Come at me, bro. Of course you do. You're gonna... You're gonna have to come and get me first if you want that bounty. Come on, then. Come on, then. You know you want to. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm right here. Do you not want to come up here? No? Eh, this sucks. These mercenaries are no fun. Why don't you come up here and fight me like a man? Come up here and fight me like a man.
Oh. Here we are. That's it. Come up here. Come after me. Here we go. Err. Uh, excuse me? What killed me? Was it poison? Or was it an arrow? Did someone shoot me? I think someone shot me. Oh man, I was having fun too. I was like, I'm gonna bait these guys to come up here into this high scaffolding and I'm gonna kick them off. And it just didn't work out. Sorry guys, I'm messing up the lot today. Alright, we're gonna make it a quick journey this time. Quickly in, quickly out. No more messing around. I won't bother missing the mercenaries. Let's just make it quick. Mount Pentelicus holds the purest marble in the Greek world. I heard they built the Parthenon with it. You! Why do the slaves want to attack me too? This is silly. Get out of here, you poison. Alright, kick her off. now fall why won't you fall This, this mercenary is really strong. She doesn't want to fall off. No matter how hard I hit her, she's not falling off. I literally have her against the edge and she refuses to ring out like a good Soul Calibur enemy. Ow.
I think those two poison each other. One down. Out of here. Get rid of the, get rid of the animal. Ow. Ow. It caught me in a corner. Are the slaves attacking the mercenary? Oh my god, they are! It's a slave rebellion, for sure. Heck of a rebellion you're going on, getting on over here. You play if the most play the slaves a little bit. Okay, dangerous. I think I should I should probably go off and heal. I'm gonna go off and heal for a bit. Oh sh Damn it. I got stuck on the pole because there was a cable on top of my head. I thought I was gonna be able to like just climb up and get away, but damn it! Ugh, it was going so well. This is what failure feels like. God damn it. Ugh. Curse you mercenaries. It's starting back off here too. <sighs> I'm sure they are. Okay, well, let's just make it quick. I know I said it the last time, but. Mount Pendelikos holds the purest marble in the Greek world. I heard they built the Parthenon with it. She's fine! In case you're wondering, yes, that is a genuine Greek battle cry. If you guys watch Fate Zero, you know Ex Alexander the Great, yeah, he made that battle cry, that was an authentic one. That's your interesting Greek fact for the day. Yeah, 
That was not the guy I was targeting. What is going on? That's a little bit silly. Alright, we got him. Okay, I think we're dealt with them. Sheesh. Alright, let's go. Or says what everyone sees. God damn it, ladders. Letters are my worst enemy. Letters are my worst enemies. Can I take a shield? No. You're too heavy. Even that way. Knock him off. There you go. Okay, where's our guy? Why, why am I down here? Hey, back up. Oh, there he is. I see him. Oh! This man is dead! Looks like I was too late for Yerimus, huh? Since Cleon's messenger wasn't the only one captured, maybe I can help them too. Oh, you mean down there? Okay. Outside the quarry, you got it. Hey, who are you? Who are Sparta? 
Not today. Goodbye. Fine, since you insist. Alright, fine. It looks like we're not gonna get out of this way. Alright, fine. Oh god, oh god, get this. Get this thing off. I'm gonna take a shield. It's mine now. Oh god, get off me. Jesus. Alright, uh, strange man, you're gonna have to wait a bit. So messy. Good lord, this lady has poison on everything. Poison and everything. I wonder if I can get over my crew. Should make a lovely addition. Oh god. He's got strong sword combos. That's for sure. She rolls away after each of the starting combos. Ah oh, man, I whiffed that. Guys, wanna? Got them Athenian busybodies. Got them Athenian busybodies. I just wanted to beat this woman up. 
And you're making it difficult. Oh, come on. Oh, you're serious, aren't you? I almost got her down. She healed again. Curse me. What a complicated situation. Got the Athenian busybodies. Looks like I killed the mercenary. I wanted to recruit her. I really wanted to. But she was an asshole about it. This is the messiest and longest drawn out fight I've ever been in. Uh, she's got poison on the weapon now too. So that's annoying. Jesus. Alright, let's bail. We're bailing. Christ almighty. Christ Almighty. Meet a man named Varnavas at my ship. He'll be now you work for me, good lord. Okay, what's this about a cultist? What did I just get? I saw something. Clue from a cultist or something. Something just opened up somewhere here. This guy. Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. Calculating and mysterious, everywhere and nowhere. None was feared as Eobatis of Lemnos and the bloodthirsty mercenaries fighting in his name. Under his careful planning, these rogues became a force of terror. Okay. So I guess I can blame the God of Cosmos for that big mess. Sending so many aggro poison poisoners after me at the same time. What an asshole. Yeesh. At least that's settled with. Hmm. 
a temporary quest. Okay, we've dealt with that. You are dead. Oh, confirm kill? Wait a minute. Was that a cultist? No, it wasn't. It was just an ordinary mercenary. I think. Oh, good lord. Chat, chat, are you still with me? I know that was incredibly messy, but we finally made it out in one piece. <laughs> like, jeez, finally. I should be extra careful in this area. Yo, chat, you still with me? Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. You have a ship? Yes. I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of a rope. Yerimos? I was sent to rescue him. We can still complete the mission if you help me. Tell me who you are. Captain Onomaklis. I'm on an urgent mission. I need to get out of here. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. It's on the coast. Just south of Marathon Beach. What's so important about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? I'm not ungrateful for your help. But it's better you don't know. Why is that? Just believe me. What we Come do on. is for the security and future of others. This mission must succeed. My payment relies on it, so trust me, it will. Okay. You gotta deliver this man to the beach. You okay back there? You comfortable? That doesn't look too comfortable, but I guess that's better than nothing. Alright. Prepare for a bumpy road. We're gonna go off road a little bit, mister. I hope you're comfortable back there. Might be a bit of a bumpy ride. Oh boy, that could have been good for him. Come on, boy. Phobos. Phobos. It's a gap big enough for you. Come on. Just... Just go. There you go. Man, what a temperamental horse you are sometimes. Your crew met the same fate as you. I don't blame Yerimus for talking. Spartans lack the most basic empathy. Stay here. I'll kill the Spartans, destroy their ships, and free your crew. Oh. Oh wow, there's a lot of things to do here. Sure is messy. We gotta sink the ship and everything. Gotta free all your crew members. Oh, and that's their ship. We gotta sink it. Gee, this quest line ended up. This quest line ended up longer than I expected. Those guys are fighting a lion. Yeah. 
There you go, guys. Destroy the Spartan ship. How are we gonna do that? Oh, hey! Look what's right over here! Hey, chat, look. It all worked out. We parked in a lucky position. <laughs> we parked right next to where we needed our ship to be. Awesome. This won't take long at all. Dude, I'm so lucky. There's like no port nearby too, so... Yeesh. Thank all lucky stars we parked our ship here. Hey yo everybody. Did you miss me? I hope you had a nice campfire and barbecue. Alright folks, we... We just gotta do something real quick, alright? Alright, that's that. Did we actually park here though? Or did he move the ship for us? Oh, they moved the ship for us. Yeah, that makes more sense. I don't recall parking here. Alright, you, you guys, you guys take it easy. You've done nothing. A great service. On my return, I will make sure to acknowledge it. Well, you did mention payment. More than that. You will have earned the favor of some powerful people when they hear of what you've done. I hear it's useful to have powerful friends. The way the world is now, you need them more than ever. What do you mean? I've said enough, and my ship awaits. Thank you again, Mistyos. I hope we'll meet again. Hmm, and then our ship's just bobbing in the background over there. <laughs> our ship's still there, and then they off this hill. Okay, now I've done all that nonsense, let's go back to Cleon. Hmm. Oh, that side quest took a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> It went in directions that I wasn't expecting. It ended with a big ship battle. But it had a nice little cutscene with their ship sailing off and everything. So that was kinda cool.
Okay, Cleon, where are you? Where are you? Over there. What an asshole tree. Far longer than I expected. There were complications. In what way? Your messenger was dead by the time I arrived, but I was still able to free the captain, and the ship sailed. So, I still did the job. Ah, oh, poor Yerimos. But I should be thankful for your initiative. You don't seem very concerned about poor Yerimos. Every struggle has its sacrifice. Yerimos played his part well. Hmm, it doesn't sound very sincere. Oh, hey, welcome back. Um, so we found his messenger. He was hang, he was hung on a rope and stuff. But we found the ship captain, who was disabled, at least temporarily. So we put him on our horse and then we rode him back to, uh, rode him back to his ship. And then we freed his crew and then we sunk the Spartan ship. Also, uh, we finally dealt with the mercenaries and we found a new cultist crew. Apparently, one of the mercenaries was carrying cultist clues and stuff like there's a mercenary leader that's a cultist and he was sending people after me so that's why there was so many of them attacking me at the same time and in the middle of that like uh, like a group of nosy Athenian soldiers rode by and decided to join in the fight when I was at pretty much no health left and I was so annoyed but you can catch it on the VOD I guess if you're really interested to see me completely exasperated at how badly the situation started spiraling out of control I managed to salvage it but it was painful it was very painful. What's in Mytilene that's so important? People. We need as many allies as we can gather. This was more than I bargained for. You'll be amply compensated. You have done me and the people a huge service. One day you will see your part in this great work. Okay. So, we're done with Cleon's thing. We helped him do his secretive quest to... To, to get diplomacy or something. I, d I don't know exactly what he's trying to do, but diplomacy, I guess? He did the thing. So, yeah. So, it's getting a little bit late. I think that's where we'll call it off for today. We didn't do any story quests, but we did manage to get story done. Oh, hang on. Ah, he's only level 27. All right, one last thing to do then. Yeah, I did do a chunk of stuff. Oh, the mercs are so money crazy. Well, I'm money crazy, and I'm a merc. You can't take much more. I have a ship, a good one. What I need is a crew. Are you in? Off you go then. Okay, so, as I was saying, I think this is where we're going to call things for today. Oh yeah, regarding those two mercenaries that were attacking me in the camp, um, I killed one of them by accident. Because like, I almost got her down to like no health left and I was punching her, and that's when the Athenian soldiers decided to ride in and like made life miserable for me, so I had to run away. And then I did my chain assassination thing again, and apparently she was one of the unlucky targets, so she died. 
and honestly, no tears were shed because, good lord, she was annoying as heck. I recruited the other, I recruited, I recruited the other woman though, and yeah, we found a cultist clue from that. So this is where we're gonna call things for today. We didn't quite do any main story quests, but we did get some story done. Yeah, yeah, you can technically recruit every merc ever. You can recruit everybody you defeat. But there's no need, there's no real need to. I'm just doing it for the sake of like, hey, look at all these people that work for me now. It's just funny, funnier that way, I guess. Okay, um, I'm gonna call it for the night. Uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, we'll do, we'll get back to story in the next session. We've more or less cleared all the other stuff that I wanted to clear. Today was a little bit more of a chill and do side stuff session. So I'm glad. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, I'm glad you did. So, yeah, alright. See you guys around then. Good night.